Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am back to talk about one of the 2020 new releases that I read, These Prisoning Hills by Christopher Rowe. And I think this is going to be an interesting one to talk about, just because with the dual timeline, it makes it hard to talk about without spoilers, if that makes sense. So the premise of this is this is in a post-AI world. There once was an AI named Athena, I think her name was Athena, in Nashville, who controlled a lot of the South, and humans banded together to fight against the AI, and they took her and her minions down. And now our main character. She's working in a rural county, like overseeing agriculture. And since the post-AI world, it, humans have also learned how to genetically modify. And so instead of having normal humans do the agricultural work, they have taken their DNA and they twisted it. So then they've created like a lesser human that will do this work, like, and they've even colored their skin so you know exactly what their job is. Bastardized humans in order to create little clones to do the work for us. The main character's job is to make sure, like, the agriculture is going on at a good pace. And these workers are built for that, so it's not a lot of going back and forth for her. Now, while she's doing this, the central government sends a team out to her county. They are there looking for a missing team that had been on the edge of the county and they are there to conscript people to help them go on a search and rescue mission. And she is one of those that is conscripted because she had her past, she was a soldier, she fought in the AI war, and she knows that portion of Appalachia that is the section where she grew up before the war. So she is conscripted as a guide to help the soldiers. They also take some of the genetically modified uh, workers to help carry things overall, and they go on this journey. So, and then it starts cutting back and forth between her present of on this journey and then her past during the war. So you get snippets of the fighting, snippets of different outfits in the war that was fighting against the AI, but you don't get a lot of her reflection from what I remember. And I'm guessing the flashbacks are supposed to be like her way of reflecting on things as she is going along. And she finds that the landscape that she knew as a child has been changed by the war. You know, big, huge AI mix, a lot of physical change has happened to the countryside. And that's really all I can say without like spoiling the ending. And in the end, I'm not actually sure how I feel about what happened. It almost felt like this book was like a piece of a bigger whole. And after reading it, I did find out that there are other story short stories written in this universe. And I'm wondering if I had read those first, if this one would have worked better for me. This still worked really well. It had a lot of things that I was interested in. I guess my overwhelming feel of this, like six months after reading it, is I want more from the story. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it means I want to spend more time in the world. I want to understand more of what's going on. So and if this is something you've read, or if you've read the short stories before, let me know. Are there short stories that I should be looking up to better understand what happened in this novella? But overall, I did like it. And it's an interesting world premise. Thank you for your time and have a great day.